The other day, we created a YouTube video on Kerosi TV and we discussed about the explosions of pictures in Lebanon. Lebanon is a country where an Iran-based, Iran-backed terrorist organization uh, operates from. And this group of people, they use uh, what they call, um, they use pagers or raw technology devices to communicate. Because they know if they use mobile phones, somebody can tap into it and they listen to their conversations and they intercept whatever they are planning to do. Or even kill them using drones from Israel. So they decided for a long time they have been using pagers. Pagers is a device uh, which receives messages and you can some of them you can respond to those messages. You can also receive voice calls and then they use the radio frequency. So it's a raw technology compared to that of mobile phones. Uh, pagers were invented in 1949. They were more popular in 1980s and, and uh, I think early late 90s so they disappeared at the beginning of 2000s when mobile phones uh, became more common around the world people so day one it was explosions of pictures that killed nine people and injured over 3,000 people some of them being members of that irani packed their organization in lebanon uh, others were people who were near them, maybe in markets and other places, so they were injured. Um, I had, a, I saw a story today of a doctor who, who worked like a robot to help save people who had lost limbs, maybe hands and legs, who had uh, lost their eyesight because they, of those explosions. Um, so the following day, Walkie-talkie is also exploded all over the country in Lebanon. So you can imagine the Lebanese are now feeling using technology. I think now they even suspect that even mobile phones can explode. Even uh, laptops can explode. You know, that's why when you are traveling with a laptop, when you get to an airport, that laptop must be scanned. It has to be pressed separate from the other luggage for scanning so that they can be able to see uh, cases where there are uh, explosives inside those laptops. So now you know how modern technology devices that we are working with day on a daily basis can become weapons and kill us or harm us. Um, so ni mungu tu, ni mungu tu kwa sababu hizi masimu tunapepana nazo, even mabawa banks, eh, they can explode. Who knows, if, if a, an explosive is pressed inside and when you connect something, maybe even a power bank, if you connect a charger, when it starts charging, it can explode on you. Kumbe, in, in, this country, in this world, there's nothing, there is nothing impossible. Also, the, issue, the other issue which we have been worried about is uh, whether uh, encrypted uh, messaging services like WhatsApp and the others are really safe from government prying eyes. I believe there's somebody who reads all our messages, even on our phones. Uh, our local telecommunication companies, I'm told, they can give data, especially to the investigative agencies like this year. They can tell them where you are, what you are telling other people on messages, or even they can listen to our calls and even pass that message. Uh, they can send that message to the wrong people and then uh, we shall be uh, doomed. So I think the safest way to communicate is to travel from one point to the other. You want to communicate and come back. That is maybe how you can avoid being intercepted or even being known what you are planning. Uh, anything else? If, if you have, for example, a relationship and you, you have your phone, there must be a third party apart from you and your, your spouse or you and your girlfriend or boyfriend. There is another person or other people listening in to your conversation or even reading your messages. There must be somebody somewhere uh, doing that. So otherwise, uh, thank you very much for tuning in to Kerosi TV. If you are new here, please feel most welcome. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment and share. See you in the next episode.